everyone. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss about the information age, wherein this is the modern age regarded as time in which information has become a commodity that is quickly and widely disseminated and easily available, especially through the use of computer technology. So meaning to say, this is a time or period wherein information is very accessible and very convenient to have. At the end of this lesson, the student should be able to define information age, discuss the history of information age, and understand the factor that need to be considered in checking website sources. Okay? So first, let us define what is information. Information is a knowledge communicated or obtained concerning a specific fact or circumstances. Fact provided or learned about something or someone. So, ibig sabihin po nito, information can be something sa tao or bagay, but the most important, the information should be truth. Okay? Should be true. Telling the truth, kailangan siya ay katotohanan na nangyari. Okay? In an event or in a person, and that is what we call information. Okay? While in information age, a period starting in the last quarter of the 20th century information become effortlessly accessible through publication and through the management of information by computers and computer networks. So, when we are talking about information age, lagi po natin tatandaan that it is not only talking about computers, but also everything that is bringing information, ma libro, ma newspaper, ma magazine, even social media, and television, radios, so anything, any form na bagay, as long as it is giving information to us, that is information age. Okay? And also, the other term for information is digital age and new media age. Okay? The information age is a true new gay age based upon the interconnection of computers via telecommunication with this information system operating on both a real-time and as-needed basis. Furthermore, the primary factors driving this new age forward are convenience and user-friendliness which in return will create users' independence. So, meaning to say, since we are living with computers, cell phones, lahat ng bagay, okay? And the result, Ano po yun? Magkakaroon tayo ng dependent sa kanila. Kasi anytime, anywhere, nagagamit natin sila. So, just in a just click of a button, once na search mo lang ang isang bagay, binibigay na agad sa iyo ni Google ang sagot. So, dahil nga doon, very convenient and very user-friendly, the reason why masyado tayong nagkaroon ng dependent si sa kanila. Okay? How about the history? In 3000 BC, Sumerian writing system used pictographs to represent words. Okay? Kasi nga, once nagkaroon tayo ng words, nagcombine into in letters, combines into words, so yung words pinagsama-sama, nagkaroon na tayo ng information, nagkaroon na tayo ng message. Okay? In 2900 BC, beginnings of Egyptian hieroglyphic writing, and 1300 BC, Tortoise shell and oracle bone writing were used. So, in that time po, kinukuha nila yung buto, uh, kinukuha nila yung shell ng tortoise, and then yung mga buto, kung saan pinapainit nila, at yun yung mga sinaunang kabihasnan, kung saan babasahin nila kung ano nakalagay sa likod ng shell ng tortoise, and also anong nakaukit doon sa buto, at yun ang sinasabi na nakikipag-message sa kanila ang Panginoon. Okay? So, yun yung way para makipag-usap ang ating mga ninuno sa kanilang mga Panginoon, sa mga Diyos at Diyosa. Okay? In 500 BC, we have papyrus roll was used. In 220 BC, Chinese small seal writing was developed. In 180, book or parchment codex. In 105 AD, at the same time, wood block printing and paper was invented by the Chinese. And in 1455, Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press using movable metal type. In 1755, Samuel Johnson Dictionary Standardized Special English Spelling. In 1802, the Library of Congress was established, invention of the carbon arc lamp. In 1824, research on persistence of vision published. In 1830s, 
first viable design for a digital computer, Augusta Lady Byron writes the world's first computer program. So, ang ating kauna-unahang programmer is no other than as Augusta Lady Byron, a female programmer. In 1837, invention of the telegraph in Great Britain and the United States. In 1861, we have motion pictures were projected onto screen. In 1876, Dewey Decimal System was introduced. In 1877, Edward Moy Bridge demonstrated high-speed photography. In 1899, first magnetic recording were released. In 1902, motion pictures' special effects were used. In 1906, Lee De Forest invented the electronic amplifying tube or triode. In 1923, we have the television camera tube was invented by Zivorkin. In 1926, first practical sound movie. And in 1939, regularly scheduled television broadcasting began in the U.S. Okay? In 1940s, it becomes the beginning of information science as a discipline. In 1945, we have Vancouver Bush foresaw the invention of hypertext. In 1946, we have ENIAC computer was developed. In 1948, birth of field of information theory proposed by Claude A. Shannon. In 1957, we have planar transistor was developed by Gene Howerney. In 1958, we have first integrated circuit. And in 1960s, we have library of Congress developed by L.C. Mark, machine readable code. In 1969, we have UNIX, a Unix operation system, was developed which could handle multitasking. In 1971, we have Intel introduced the first microprocessor chip. And in 1972, we have optical laser disc was developed by Philips and MCA. While in 1974, we have MCA and Philips agreed on a standard video disc encoding format. While in 1975, we have Altair microcomputer kit was released, first personal computer for the public. And in 1977, we have Radio Shack introduced the first complete personal computer. In 1984, we have Apple. Macintosh computer was introduced. In mid-1980s, we have artificial intelligence was separated from the information of science. In 1987, we have hypercard was developed by Bill Atkinson recipe box metaphor. In 1991, we have 450 complete works of literature on the CD-ROM was released. And in January 1997, we have RSA or Encryption and Network Security Software Internet Security Code Crack for 48-bit numbers. So all in all, up to now, marami pa rin invention about the information age. Ba, mas maganda na ngayon, mas flat ang mga cellphone, mas palaki ng palaki ang ating mga television, even the computer. Computers may iba't ibang set na. So still, as long as they giving information, still, ito po yung tinatawag nating information age. Okay? Kahit po hindi na nasa kasama yung 2000 and later on, hanggang ngayon, so basta po, even social medias, nagkaroon na ng iba't ibang social medias, nagkaroon ng different types of television, so yun po yung tinatawag nating upgraded. Okay? na information age. While because of too much dependent in information, ito ang nagiging negative natin, the information anxiety. Human cause of information overload. So, because of too much information that is available in the market or in the surroundings, nagkakaroon tayo ng overload information. Hindi alam natin kung ano yung tunay. Okay? Kasi nga, ang dami na pong na invento na bagay. Okay? Hindi natin alam kung ito ba ay tama, kung ito ba ay mali, kung ito ba ay uh, ayos. So, kaya nga po sa sobrang available ng information sa, sari- sa paligid natin, nagkaroon ng too much information overload. In the world, in the words of Richard Saul Werman, author of the book Information Anxiety, it is produced by the ever-widening gap between what we understand and what we think we should understand. Kasi nga po, because of information na nasa paligid natin, may mga bagay tayong nalalaman. 
at may mga bagay tayo yung nare-realize na hindi natin alam. Okay? And what happens when information doesn't tell us what we want or need to know? So, yun po yung nangyayari. May mga information na natatakloban na kung ano yung tunay. Okay? Kaya po, ito yung nagkakaroon o tinatawag na natin na information anxiety. Next. This is the thing, the truth about information age. Okay? Information must be complete. Just like in English, kapag nagbibigay tayo ng announcement. Just like information, it should start with who, when, where, when, why, and how. Okay? Information must be complete para paniwalaan. Okay? Newer is equated with truer. Just like in our previous topic, we tackled about scientific information wherein new ideas hindi tinatanggap na ibang tao. Okay? So, meaning, may mga bagay tayo na pinaniniwalaan nun na hindi na tama sa ngayon. So, ibig sabihin, kung ano yung bago, yun yung totoo. Okay? Selection is a viewpoint. So, looking, for example, looking at a newspaper, nakita mo, okay, may different siyang parts. Ang tinitingnan mo lang is yung something na ikaw ay interesado. So, meaning noon, kung ano yung sinelect mo, that is your viewpoint, that is your opinion, that is your understanding about the information. And the media cell, number four, the media cells what the culture buys. So, ano po bang inilalabas natin sa information? Inilalabas natin sa internet, di ba? Yung nakakapag-catch ng information ay nakakapag-catch ng interest ng tao. So, yun tulad lang po ng information. Okay? Mas nagiging popular, mas napapansin ang nagkakaroon ng interest ang tao kapag yung information yun ay catchy sa interest ng viewers. And the early word gets the perm. So, just like doon sa kasabihan, the early bird catches the worm. Kasi po, once ako sino yung unang nag-release ng information na yun, siya po yung unang makikredit. Sila yung unang makikilala. Okay? While well, you are what you eat and so is your brain. So, just like in science, kumain ka ng unhealthy food, junk food, and what would happen to your health? It would be malnourished. Just like in your brain. Kasi, Paano ka aandar? Paano ka magkakaroon ng healthy body? Magkakapag-think ng tama if your body is not producing a proper hormones or unhealthy hormones. Okay? So katulad lang 'yan. Kung ano yung information na mali na itatatak mo sa utak mo at kung puro mali a fake news ang ipapasok mo sa utak mo. Yun yung utak mo. Okay? Kung anong ifi-feed mo sa kanya, yun din siya. Ganun ka din mag-isip. And that is a fact about information age. Okay? Anything in great demand will be counterfeited. So as you can see, sobrang dami na ng products available because of information. Okay? Ma TV, ma radio, magazine, sa laptops nyo, mga ads, sobrang dami na. So once they are, they we have an available information about that. Nagkakaroon na ng counterfeit or nagii-steal na tayo, ini-imitate natin yung mga bagay na yon. Okay? And that is what we call in demand, great demand will be counterfeited. Okay? Kung ano yung sikat, yun ang ginagaya. Next, ideas are seen as controversials. Aminin na natin po. Most of the information na inire-release lagi tayong may question. Lagi nating tinatanong kung ito ba'y tama. Kahit is simpleng information lang lagi nating binibigyan ng big deal because that is information, the truth about information. Okay? And then that information works ever on. So that means ang information hindi nating kayang pigilan. Okay? Yan eh kahit anong gawin natin, information is wide uh, will be spread. Okay? Media presence creates the story. So, meaning, basta may media, there's a behind story, laging merong pangyayari. Okay? The media selects the message, just like in true life. Okay? So, kahit na sabihin mo yung mga bagay na positive and negative about sa'yo, once yung medium, yung tao na nakikinig sa'yo, ay ang gusto lang ay marinig ay eh, yung negative side, hindi mo sila mapipilit. And that is about information age. Kahit na maganda yung information na binibigay sa kanila, once na namimili yung tao, your medium, yun yung sinasabi nating medium selects the message. Next. 
The whole truth is a pursuit. Aminin natin o hindi. Lagi nating hinahanap is yung katotohanan. We are always chasing with the truth. And that is what the meaning of the whole truth is pursuit. Okay? So, let's talk about the different forms of information. We have the computer. A computer, an electronic device that stores and processes data or information, runs on a program that contains the exact step-by-step -step directions to solve a problem. Okay? We have different types of computer. We have the personal computer, single-user instrument, known as microcomputer since they were a computer but built on a smaller scale. We also have desktop computer, PC that is not designed, that portab portability, workstation, desktop computer that has a more powerful processor, additional memory and enhanced capabilities for performing special group of tasks, while we also have laptops. It is a portable computer that integrate the essentials of a desktop computer in a battery operated package. And most especially, mas sikat ito sa atin, sa ating mga nag-aaral. Okay? Next, we have the Personal Digital Assistant, PDA, tightly integrated computers that usually have no keyboards but rely on a touch screen for user input. Typically smaller, that is a paperback, lightweight, and battery-powered. So, that is the Personal Digital Assistant. And also, we have the server. Computer that has been improved to provide network services to other computers usually boasts powerful processor tons of memory and large hard disk. We also have mainframes, huge computer system that can fill an entire room and used by a large firm that processes millions of transactions every day. Okay? We a wearable computer we have materials that are usually integrated into cell phones, watches, and other small objects or the places, as you can see in the picture, perform common computers applications such as databases, email, multimedia, and schedule. So, yan na po yung nauuso. Kahit po ngayon, di ba, yun sa mga Apple na makikita natin, yung maraming gustong bumili ng watch na yon, Because, there are some watch na parang cellphone na lang din. Kaya nga tinawag na wearable computers. Kahit saan ka pumunta, Kahit saan ka mag mapadpad, as long as you have your watch, yon nandoon ka na, kaya mo siyang makipag-communicate with other people, alam mo ang oras, alam mo yung pangyayari, because nandoon na lahat eh, sa wearable computers na yon sa watch na yon And that is the reason bakit siya mahal. Kasi the more that the technology ay maliit at mas marami ang function kaysa doon sa mga malalaking laptops, so, yun po yung binibigyan. Mas costly siya. Next, the World Wide Web. It is also a form of information. Or the internet. Claude E. Shannon, father of information theory, stated that internet is a worldwide system of interconnected networks that facilitate data transmission among innumerable computers. Okay? Because of information age and the computer, it becomes, uh, because it helps in our progress about science and research. So, ano bang application of computer? Because of computer, we able to have our bioinformatics. Okay? Application of information technology to store, organize, and analyze a vast amount of biological data. We also about have the sweet prot, a protein sequence database. Okay? We also have rational drug discovery na dahil sa computer. So, ginagamit natin yung sa science and research. We also have plant biotechnology. Okay? So, the last is how to check the rela uh, reliability of web sources. So, di ba nga kanina, marami tayong pinag-uusapan about uh, information society. Because of too much information that is available in our surroundings, nagkakaroon tayo ng information anxiety. So, para po maiwasan natin na malaman yung mga information na hindi naman tama. Kasi nga, ang unang definition natin about information is being true or fact. Okay? Kailangan siya ay totoo. So, para maiwasan natin ng fake news, kailangan natin malaman muna who is the author of the article or site. Siya ba ay knowledgeable? Siya ba ay 
tamang uh, may tama experience para mag-share ng knowledge niya. So kailangan ganon. Hindi yung porket may nakita ka sa Facebook, sa Instagram, sa Twitter, anything na form of social media, porket nakita mo na ganto, sinishare ng ibang tao, i-share mo na rin. No. Kailangan malaman mo kung yung bang author is credible. Okay. Next, who published the site? So, katulad lang din ng yun, si author at sino si publisher, kailangan sinacheck nyo kung credible sila. And mostly, in during my college days, uh, meron ako science teacher kung saan hindi tinatanggap ang aming uh, copy and paste kapag mga research, kapag kami ikumukuha sa Wikipedia. Kasi Wikipedia is a source of uh, site kung saan mga information, pwede kang pumasok kahit ikaw ay estudyante, kahit ikaw ay si, kahit kung sino, kasi nga po siya i-open sa lahat. So, yung Wikipedia ngayon, na-edit din ang mga information. The reason, pag nagsusearch kayo, iwasan nyo na i-click ang Wikipedia pag nakita mo. Okay? Kasi nga, hindi reliable ang kanilang information. Okay? So, pag nakita nyo naman po yun, di check nyo na lang yung mga nasa babang information. Yung mga nasa babang site, na ibang site, wag lang ang Wikipedia. Okay? What is the main purpose of the site? And why did the author write it? And why did the publisher post it? Okay? So, kailangan alamin natin kung siya credible, may main ex- may experience, sa nangyari sa mga pinopost niya, anong purpose niya, bakit siya nag... Uh, purpose niya, kung bakit siya nagbibigay ng information na gano'n. Katulad nito, pinakamainit na information is all about Dr. Adam. Okay? Dr. Adam is an Australian doctor kung saan tinutulungan niya ang mga Filipinos na magkaroon ng tamang information about health issues. Ang problema nga lamang, maraming mga Filipino vlogger at influencer ang nagbibigay ng mga masasama or napakadelikadong mga Uh, tips para uh, tips sa iba't ibang aspect of health. So dahil nga po doon, kailangan nating tignan ito bang mga sinishare ng ibang tao is correct, kung ito ba ay healthy, kung ito ba hindi nakakasama sa ibang tao. So that is how to check the rela- reliability of web sources. Okay? Most especially in YouTube. Lagi natin sinasabi, available lahat sa YouTube. Ang problema, ah, ang ang way mo para hindi ka ma, mahirapan or hindi ka maging uh, victim ng maling information, kailangan i-check mo kung credible ba tong mga taong nagpo-post. Kung sila ba ay professional, kung sila ba ay may kaalaman sa field na yon, And that is how to become a responsible individual. Okay? You are not just saving yourself from false information but also you are helping others. Lalong-lalo na pag alam mong mali. Okay? So, who is intended audience? So, ito ba'y mga bata? Ito ba'y matatanda? Ito ba'y mga tito-tita? So, yon kailangan. And what is the quality of information provided on the website? So, does the author telling us the truth? Kung di ba'y kumpleto? Kung may kulang? Or questionable? So, that is how to check the reliability of web sources. Lagi natin pong iti-check. So, once in this information age, mabalik ko lang po. Whenever there is share, whenever there is someone sharing false information, walang masama po na magsalita. In a way lang na kailangan in a respectable way, 'di ba? Kailangan yung medyo hindi naman nakakabastos. So if ever naman na hindi nila tanggapin, it's okay basta kailangan as students, as a college student Turuan mo din yung mga nasa paligid mo, si nanay, si tatay, si ate, si kuya, yung mga nasa kapatid mo, na hindi dapat basta-basta sumusunod sa kung ano yung information na nakita nila or anong bagay na napanood nila. Then, that is the reason why we have science and technology. Kasi nga dito, lagi kong pinapakita sa inyo what is the negative and what is the positive effect. Okay? So, kailangan na i-apply natin ito. So, sana po... Ngayon, once that we have this information age, kapag may mga isi-share tayo about the health tips, okay, about information tips, so kailangan lagi nating i-check muna tama ba 'tong isi-share ko, okay? Kasi malay mo, most especially may mga kasing sindikato na available sa na nag-access ng information kung saan tinuturuan nila yung mga bata na sakta ng sarili. 
Okay? So, kaya bilang isang kapatid or bilang isang nanay or uh, an other sister, uh, ganon, or brother, kailangan sinacheck pa rin natin kung ito bang information, kung ito bang website nito ay tama at healthy sa buong pamilya. Okay? And that is how science and technology is doing uh, a good thing in the society. Okay? Kahit ang science and technology ay ang Lahat naman ng bagay gusto lagi eh, good things eh. 'Di ba? Lahat ng product ang isang bagay ginagawa mo para magkaroon ng isang magandang product. But during those time na ginagamit na siya ng tao, nagkakaroon na ng abuse. Okay? And that is why nagkaroon ng negative effects si science and technology. So, since we all know na available na nandiyan na yung problema, so kaya kailangan natin na iwasan. Okay? So, sana po yung information age na to ay makatulong sa ating mga pagsusearch as a student kasi kailangan yung mga research natin is credible. Alam mo kung sino yung pinag-copy and paste mo ng information and alam mo kung saan or intended ba tong paggawa ng kanilang information na iyong kinukuha. Okay? And that is all for today. Thank you!